this is 100 days in the natural disasters apocalypse on a plane in Minecraft, or on a giant plane, or in a space rocket, on everything and at once. In this episode, we have to defeat the apocalypse and fly to the space station to prevent the end of the world. My team has specifically updated the survival so that when you progress, new mods will even be unlocked. We will even find a giant Boeing and be able to fly in it. All this continues to be accompanied by natural disasters and monsters that we need to stop. I am Zeman. Let's go! A whole month has passed since I entered this world, and it's time to see what's in this shuttle. I probably waited for this moment more than you. Good evening, dispatcher. Uh, the dispatcher is clearly not in his best shape. Some kind of iron metal door. Let's open it. And here we have a another dispatcher. How many of you are here? Okay, no. Let's see what's written on it. I hope we have enough fuel to fly to the space station. We just have to not collide with the plant upon landing. What kind of news is this? Oh yeah, I forgot that I'm basically in a rocket. Also inside the box, I found another note that spoke of some kind of spaceport and a fuel production plant. Apparently, this was a hint that it was time to look for new places. So the next day, I immediately started the engine of my plane and went to fly around the area, because no one gave me any coordinates. Flying around the area for a while, I finally saw something interesting on the ground and decided to land right in the field. It's good that I was able to stick to landing. Oh, <sighs> I don't know how I landed that. That was quite extreme. But here I am already on the ground, and here we have something weird. I noticed this building here and the road, so let's first see what's in this house. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh my god, what kind of frog is that? There's just so many mutants found in a natural disasters apocalypse. After looting the tower and finding some useful resources there, for example a shield and some kind of steel axe, I noticed that there's a rift here and it's not empty. There's also some kind of structure in it. It looks like I'm inside a frog den. More loot, let's see. Golden revolver? Guys, a golden revolver is put up for auction. Just imagine how many grams of gold there's in this thing. I'm the real sheriff now. Tell me in the comments if you want a survival in the Wild West. I found a note close by, so I decided to read it. While studying these anomalous stones, four people have already gone missing. Very strange things are happening here, but we must find out their origin. Well, anomalous stones are cool, but I have a golden revolver. And apparently, I can go down there. Frog. To be honest, I have no desire to go down now. Who am I afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, oh, ah, where am I? Then I began to descend into some kind of mine or dungeon. It feels like I've gone all the way down to bedrock. It took a very long time. It feels like I'm going down into some kind of coal mine. I don't understand. There's blood, guys. So... You know how something was scary to me before? Then in this helmet, I'm definitely not. Okay, well, there's still ammo and some poison arrows. We don't need them. And a book with a quill. Let's read it. The miner has been drilling the mine for five days now. There is an incredible amount of useful resources here. Iron, gold, coal, and most importantly, we've discovered very interesting crystalline formations and new rocks. Of course, they found coal and all sorts of resources here, but they didn't figure out something with these frogs. Or maybe these miners turned into them. Office! Oh, this could be my office, by the way. A cake, an explosive swiftness potion, and some ammo. You know, I'll take everything, and as I said, until the inventory is full, I will not calm down. Um, uh, oh, diamonds. And, uh, what is that? A mixture of a pig and a golem. You know, nothing surprises me anymore. Where am I? Okay, okay, maybe the golems are friendly. Look, oh, this one is friendly, by the way. It's okay, but... This one doesn't look that friendly. Oh, oh, oh my god, two and a half hearts. Guys, I hope that wasn't your friend because you're not attacking me. Without this helmet, I would definitely be dead by now. Another note, let's read it. We are trapped. Unknown creatures appeared from the ground in the blink of an eye. We can't survive. Well, I don't know about monsters. These ones look pretty cute, actually. But that one, of course, yeah, it's really scary. I decided to take a small break and get all the resources that were at this level. But this level was not the last. As I understand it, we fell into some kind of huge mine. And the lower I went down, the more dangerous the monsters became. Okay, I don't know if it's a good golem. I think we'll check it out now. So, 
Are you friendly? You are friendly! Guys, well, as you can see, at least in some place in this survival, I'm not attacked by absolutely everybody. Let's just get the resources here and- Oh, no, 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 no! Here it is! Here it is, the, the scary one! This one is really unfriendly! Stay where you are! Oh my god! Oh, this one's unfriendly too! Oh my god, this one just betrayed me! As I made my way further into the mine, I encountered even more resources and more monsters and golems to deal with. So, given how many resources there are in total, I might have to stay here for another day. Now I'll just collect all these resources and probably return to the mine and mine all this stuff later. Because, well, I've never seen so many resources in any survivals. After returning to the plane and grabbing a large amount of resources that I mined, I decided to go back to the mine and get everything that was left. The next day, I was already at home at the base. In addition to the fact that I had to look for an option to find this very item with which we could revive this ship, I understood that there's still a huge number of unfinished things at the base that needed to be done. And one of them was the restoration of the airport. So as you understand, I spent the whole day 74 and 75 restoring my airport. I feel that this will take a lot longer than I initially expected. Because a whole day has passed and I haven't even finished this room yet. It looks very empty. Overall, it's fair to say that there's still a huge amount of work ahead. So that's what I'll actually do. In general, yeah. It was not easy. Well, what can I say? This is the kind of room that we got. I think it's pretty cozy here. There's even this place here where you can order refreshing drinks while you're waiting for your flight. To be honest, there's still a huge number of rooms that look very scary. But I think for now, I will take care of more important things. And as I progress through this episode, I will slowly restore the airport. I hope that by the end of survival, I will have fully restored this place. Also, if you look up there, I fixed up the glass window. On day 76, I went to explore the wasteland and around mid-afternoon, I came across a crashed plane. I was already curious to know what was in there. A hurricane is starting by the way. I don't really like that. What do we have here? Some kind of plane. Okay, let's see, baked potato, and assault rifle magazine. Day 79, I decided to return to our main task. This is the search for the very object that can launch the shuttle. My team suggested to me that if I can do this, then a new mod will be activated in the world, which is related to space. Although I have no idea what it's gonna look like, but I've seen something similar in other survivals. While there were no cataclysms and tornadoes, I decided that this was the best time to continue exploring the area and look for something new. For a long time, the search was completely unsuccessful. I couldn't find anything at all. But at some point, I remember that new buildings are constantly appearing on the map. Which means that it might be worth flying where I had already flown many days ago. And it worked. A strange dungeon appeared right on the horizon. This is the same place that I saw from the air. There were a huge number of mutants as I saw. And yes, I feel that they're definitely there. And the... Is that Shrek or what? Actually, yeah, that's why I took guns, ammo, and everything I need. Oh my god, how many of them are there? 40 Shreks are running after me! Everything would be fine if they didn't do so much damage! Because they deal a lot of damage and slow me down, they're slowing me down! I went and sent some building with a conveyor! Ow, ow, ow! In principle, coming to any- Oh, th there's more! Something tells me that I might just die right here. Is that all? I did it. Honestly, there was barely enough ammo. Now I can normally see what's in here. The only thing is that there's this big huge hawk over here. So I just better not touch this anger. Let's go see the factory. There's rocket fuel here. It sounds like I need it for my shuttle. Well, of course, the tar minion is like this or whatever it is. Tarry. Cute. And we also got on the conveyor with him. Wait, no, no. Give me back my boy. Give me back my boy. Live, live. Oh, that's it. I saved them, guys. Who worried like the video? He, he, he's with me. Let's sum up today's expedition. We found the most important thing, rocket fuel. Where is it? We visited some factory, found some mutants, and most importantly, our cute little resin man. Suggest a name for him in the comments, by the way. And on this, I'll return home. I still can't get to the plot. How can I go through this survival and open an additional mod to space? But you see, time goes by, we find some locations. So I hope that we'll find something down the line. D82 began began with a typical farmer's morning. I decided to collect the wheat and think about what I should do next. So far, in terms of the plot, if you want my opinion on how my survival is progressing, it's progressing quite fine. We're already nearing the end, and I think that we'll soon fix everything that we need to fix, and we'll be able to fly into space. And there may be a new survival, maybe a part of our survival. To be honest, I don't know what my team is preparing for me there. With every survival, they come up with all extraordinary things. Now I want to collect some wheat, and I probably won't plant it anymore.
anymore. Because I think that this wheat will be enough for us until the end of our survival. And so I wanted to say that maybe I saw something which is near my base. I'm not sure though, I was flying quite high. And just maybe I was dreaming it. It turns out I wasn't seeing things. It was a real massive Boeing. I'm not sure who's guarding this huge plane. I think there's some kind of snow gorillas. They are, they're, they're very, very fast. Oh, and they have a lot of HP. Look, it's a really big plane. Of course, I had small planes, but this is a huge one. Guys, this is serious. I can even walk inside. Wow, look, and I can even sit down on an empty seat. Now this is a really cool mod. You can even close the door here. Can you go into the toilet? There's a toilet, guys. You can go to the toilet. Here's what the cockpit looks like. Awesome. So can we even fix this plane or not? I see that there's even no engines here, but there's this tower. Perhaps there is something in there. I'm, I'm, I really hope that we don't have to collect components for this aircraft all over the huge map, because in this case, we won't have any time to do anything in the survival. I think it made an emergency landing and lost all the engines, wheels and everything basically. After that I went to the tower. I was beyond happy when I found all the components that I needed in order to start the plane. Engines, landing gear and many other things that were missing in this plane. And that is all. Now we have it on wheels and it also has engines. Look over here. But the problem remains and it's very serious. Where can I lift it into the air? There is a massive tree here. Therefore I need to make a very very long runway for it. Probably three times the size of the one that we have at the airport. Am I willing to spend time on this? Rather yes than no. What are my options guys? I really want to fly it. To create a runway, a huge number of blocks were needed. So in the evening, I even managed to return to the base and take a little, the entire inventory. The whole night and the entire next day, I was busy creating this runway. Good morning. This plane looks just amazing, but this runway is just not long enough for it to accelerate at all. So I have to continue building it. I've already run out of cobblestone. One of the main problems was that it was not enough to take off on a plane. I still had to land it. So I wanted to make a runway really safe and with a massive margin for error. Well, okay friends, let's start our engines. So I have one engine. I'm starting the second one. Full engines. Wow, what a huge plane, guys. I really hope that the runway is long enough. Wait, we're flying. We're flying. Let's go. Oh my God. Now that's a real plane. Look at the dashboard, everything is lit up, there's so many buttons. To be honest, I don't think it's very convenient to move around this map, but it's definitely very fast and most importantly, massive. On it, I can probably fly to some tropical islands. Oh my god, now this is a real plane, guys. But there was still a problem, I couldn't land it properly because the runway was just too narrow and my render distance was way too small. No matter how big it is, I still wouldn't have enough time to land this plane. And for this plane, my render distance has to go on the the max. You might think that I'm flying, but in fact, I landed it in the mountains. The landing was quite neat, so to speak. Well, in any case, the plane is standing here. This is the only way I managed to land it. To be honest, I didn't really intend to land it, but tomorrow I'll drive home for the key and assemble it into an object and put it right back on the runway. Wait, what's that over there? I landed in the mountains. I don't know where at all. I get out of the plane and I see something that's glowing in the middle of the mountain. Okay, many subscribers will say that everything is set up here, but I'm telling you that I ended up here purely by accident. I didn't even see this when I was flying. How is this here? What even is this? I'm in complete shock right now because the map is huge and my plane landed here purely by accident where some kind of underground laboratory is located. There's even a note here. Uh, no, there's nothing written here. As a result, it turned out that this is a secret unfinished dungeon that my team was working on. They didn't add it to the plot and into the game. And sometime maybe I should have found this dungeon by using a note. But it turned out that they didn't finish it and just left it here. This is a really cool find that really lifted my spirits. There wasn't much loot there and no plot stuff either. So I went home because tomorrow was another day. On day 84, I decided to make the entire fence, starting from my fence near my house, ending with the fence of the airport. It took me the whole day to do everything. Today, I decided to continue the search for that very location, namely the Cosmodrome. I decided to fly on my little old jet because the Boeing is just too big. Purely in theory, the Cosmodrome was supposed to be located near the plant because it was said so in the notes and the notes did not lie because literally by the evening, I was already there. I was really shocked that I actually found it. Okay, we're landing. 
I finally found the spaceport. I thought it would never happen. Okay, guys, I'm right in the middle of a tornado. Let's hide in some building because there is a very strong wind outside and just a downpour. Okay, so guys, I seem to be in some kind of work. Oh, wh what the hell are those monsters? Who even are you? These mutants. I understand there's like these spawners here and there's a lot of monsters. I think that this is one of the most extreme locations. So I think it'll be hot here today. Okay, okay, I've dealt with these ones. I think it'd be better to spend the night here now. I have some coarse dirt. We'll now close everything and wait for the morning. Oh my god. What is some kind of scorpion doing there? Okay, good morning, friends. Let's leave our shelter. Okay, good news. Look, the tornado is over. And it's good because I almost got swept away yesterday. Our task is to loot here as much as possible and to see what kind of location it is. Here's the port, by the way. Some kind of boat, it seems. I'll just loot all this bit by bit. The locations here, of course, are pretty interesting. And these scorpions are especially interesting here. I don't really want to deal with them now. After that, I ended up in some kind of abandoned building of the port administration, and even the Cosmodrone as a whole. The first thing I did was find a note in this building. More information and instructions from the Science Center will arrive soon. They may have figured out how to solve the shuttle landing mobility issue. Hmm, interesting. Everything is so abandoned. Oh, archive! Archives is our thing! So, if there's no note here, then I'll be pretty mad at this game. I need a note! Uh, witch Cleaver and earth element where's the note guys i did not find the note well what can i do not always everything happens the way i want honestly guys we need to loot this place as soon as possible because here as i understand a new hurricane is going to happen i think it's already starting there have never been so many hurricanes in all of our survival there's just a huge number of them here i'm guessing that the rocket took off from here and over here by the way oh there's a chest a Deraflux acid fibrillator i saw that can cut rocks this this item, as it turns out, was an ordinary saw. Builders, you're simply the best. Okay, that's it. We took this item and now we just need to return home. Unless this tornado just blows me away. Because this is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Airplane, I'm coming to you. Let's get out of here. Finding this item was a big event for me. We've been looking for it for a very long time. And now we can finally activate our shuttle. Friends, the day has come. I collected six iron blocks, a stack of redstone, and of course, a Deraflux acid fibrillator. Well, let's click and see what happens. Oh, oh my god, what did just appear in my hand? Wait, an oxygen mask? Wait, can I put it on? Oh, oh my god, I think I didn't activate the shuttle, but I activated a whole mod called Galaxy Craft. The whole map has been updated. Now new ores appear underground, such as copper, tin, and aluminum. All of them will be needed in order to later make a rocket, oxygen tanks, and a lot of everything that we need in order to fly into space. Well, I don't know why, but I think that the ending of our survival will be in space. We need a lot of fossils. So on day 88, 89, and even 90, I was busy extracting all these resources and slowly starting to craft the necessary items. From day 91 to day 94, I was busy crafting a huge amount of of items and blocks that were needed for my flight. Guys, everything seems to be ready. So look here, I prepared all the components that I need in order to craft a rocket. Well, also large oxygen tanks and everything I need in order not to die in space. And now we'll craft everything. On day 96, I finally got the rocket up and I was ready to launch. The countdown is starting guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, let's fly. Woo! Look, you can even see the earth. It looks so small, oh my god, we're in the stratosphere. On day 97, I got to the space station. Now my task was to get inside. Okay guys, right now the earth is right under me. And we have this mini space station right there, which I need to get into. Here the weightlessness feels differently, so I have to somehow get in there. I'm really levitating guys, that's insane. Oh, excellent, I'm inside. Okay, there's some kind of lever right there. What's written over there? So, turn off natural disasters completely? Here's the very lever that we need. All right, guys, I'm pressing it. Uh, what? Nothing happened? Oh, wait, a book and quill appeared. Zeman, congratulations. You saved the planet and completed the survival. Space is an interesting topic for a hundred days. Thank you for watching this video, guys. The survival is over. All the links are in the description, and good luck to everybody. Bye.